Can you tell which song this is? What about now? Still not? Okay, here's one final round before I reveal the song. This song guessing game was made using the OP math concept of the Fourier transform. To see the beauty of the Fourier transform in action, as well as teach you a bit about sound, songs, and speakers, I'll walk you through a roadmap of exactly how this game was made. The first step is to download the WAV file for a song. A WAV file is a 1D array of values between negative 1 and 1. These values correspond to the displacement of the speaker from some rest position 0 as a function of time. Remember, you hear sound because pressure waves caused by a speaker are hitting your ear. And here's a cool way to visualize those pressure waves using a speaker and a candle. After storing the WAV file in an array, it was time to perform a Fourier transform. A Fourier transform allows you to decompose any wave into a series of infinite sine waves. In this simple example, the wave shown in purple was created using just three sine waves with frequencies 0.2, 2, and 3 Hz. All of the other frequencies have amplitudes of zero, so they aren't shown. It's worth noting that the amplitude of each of these waves is different, and you can clearly see that the blue wave, which has the largest amplitude out of the three, has the largest influence on the general shape of the wave. For a more in-depth view on how the Fourier transform actually works, I'll link videos from Veritasium and 3Blue1Brown in the description. Their videos on this subject are fantastic and helped inspire this project. Anyway, after doing the Fourier transform, you know the amplitude and frequency of each of the sine waves. This data can best be summarized by plotting the amplitude versus the frequency of all these individual sine waves. This is called the frequency spectrum. As you could have predicted because I told you like 15 seconds ago, there are only three frequencies with non-zero amplitudes. I didn't want to show these peaks with infinite slopes, so that's why the peaks look like triangles. By the way, the values in this 1D array of data are actually complex numbers because you need to know the amplitude and the phase shift of each individual sine wave, but I'll just keep referring to it as the amplitude for simplicity. This was for an example continuous wave, but the wave of any real audio file is not continuous, but rather a bunch of discrete points. For the discrete version of our original example wave, you could perform a discrete Fourier transform. Instead of an infinite number of sine waves, the number of sine waves is dictated by the number of points in the original sample. That means, rather than being a continuous function, the frequency spectrum will be a bar chart, where each bin is one frequency. As expected, there's still the same three frequencies with non-zero amplitudes. For a 5 second audio clip sampled at 44.1 kHz, that would be 220,500 data points which would be decomposed into 220,500 different frequencies, each with a different amplitude. Now that we have this data, we could just combine all these individual waves back together using the UNO reverse Fourier transform, also known as the inverse Fourier transform, but that would just create the original song. For the song guessing game, we want to filter the data such that we only use a certain percentage of these frequencies. Since the frequencies whose amplitudes are the largest have the largest influence on the overall shape of the original wave, we sort the data by the largest amplitude and set the amplitudes of the frequencies we don't want to use to zero. In this manner, we can start with a single frequency and then add batches of the most impactful frequencies each round to progressively make the wave flow more and more like the original. This makes the song sound more and more like the real song until it's finally revealed. Thanks for watching. If you want to try and guess more songs, go check out another channel I just made where I'll be posting more songs and any additional math, music, and art content that comes up in the future. Good luck and I'll see you next time.